Essentially, we live in a universe of exoplanets. The number of confirmed planets is in the thousands. And that number could rise to tens of thousands within a decade as we increase the number of automated telescopes launched into space and their observational power. Some of the most recent discoveries are fascinating and occasionally extreme worlds. Let's get to know them better and we'll visit the seven most incredible worlds that were found and confirmed by the TESS telescope in 2022. The first amazing world was detected near the star HD 83443. To be precise, it's a new giant exoplanet. The newly discovered exoplanet with endless storms has a mass of one and a half times the mass of Jupiter. Its orbit is characterized by a semi-major axis of eight astronomical units and an eccentricity of 0.76. A year on the planet lasts 22 Earth years. Accordingly, HD 83443C turned out to be an unusually cold exoplanet, known to be distant from its star, and the entire system turned out to be one of a kind that contains two giant exoplanets in completely different orbits. In all likelihood, this kind of a configuration of planets may have been formed due to a gravitational scattering event in the past, which made HD 83443B a short period planet and threw HD 83443C into its current wide orbit. It is possible that there may have been a third exoplanet in the system, which was thrown right out of it in the past. Second place is 55 Cancri E. Well, if the previous representative is likely to be extremely cold, then the climate of this next exoplanet will seem like a genuine resort because here there is continuous sunbathing. Get acquainted with 55 Cancri E, the planet that orbits so close to its sun-like star that it is covered in fire, its surface temperature reaching 2436 degrees Celsius. This exoplanet is located a distance of 50 light-years from the Earth and is a so-called super-Earth, a class of planets whose mass is several times greater than that of the Earth and is not similar to any of the worlds that are known to us. The surface of this hot world is covered with lava and is perpetually burning. One year on it lasts only 18 hours, but that is quite enough to get a good 10, while the gravitational pull keeps one hemisphere in the light and the other in never-ending darkness. Third place is taken by the planet Gliese 667c, which is one of the three exoplanets orbiting an M-type red dwarf star. The star is located a distance of 23 light-years from the Earth in the constellation of Scorpio. The planet completes one revolution around its star every 28 days. The most interesting thing is that the discovered exoplanet is situated in the habitable zone of its star. We mustn't forget an air mattress, since in all likelihood, ahead of us is an ocean planet. It is highly likely that storms are raging on it, as well as phenomena associated with large volumes of liquid and wind. Life on the planet is also possible, but it would be completely different from ours, and even sweethearts can turn out to be aggressive. Since planet Gliese 667c is a super-Earth with a mass of 3.7 times the mass of the Earth, the gravity will also be much stronger. If you visit the planet, your weight will be significantly greater than it is on the Earth. The fourth planet about which we speak is TIC 172-900988b, orbiting two stars. To date, only 14 of this kind of circumstellar exoplanet have been discovered. Worlds orbiting two stars are also known as circumferential planets, because they orbit a double star, or stars orbiting around each other. This new world is a gas giant the size of our own Jupiter, but far more massive. It's 2.96 the masses of Jupiter. It revolves with an orbital period of 200 days around two sun-like stars, which in turn revolve around each other. 
High-resolution images in the near-infrared portion of the color spectrum reveal the signal indicating the possible presence of a satellite planet in orbit that is 2.6 times greater than the size of planet Earth. It's a sort of Pandora's box. We absolutely have to take a peek in there. Planet number 5 is Kepler 1649c, which is located 300 light years away from the Earth and is only 1.06 times larger than it. This rocky planet is situated within a habitable zone. The planet is positioned close to the star. A year on it lasts about 19.5 Earth days. At the moment, it is known that the planet receives 75% of the star's light relative to the Earth. The equivalent temperature of its surface is estimated to minus 39 degrees Celsius. So, let's take down jackets. There is a high probability of seas and oceans of water in liquid form on this planet. Planet number 6, Gliese 1132b, is approximately 40 light years from the Sun. The planet is 1.8 times larger than the Earth and completes a full annual orbit in just 1.6 of our days. This particular exoplanet has an atmosphere. This is interesting since the planet is situated extremely close to its star and according to all calculations should have faded away long ago. The planet may have volcanic activity as it has an abnormally high amount of hydrocyanic acid up to 0.5%. And finally, the seventh and most distant world, M51 ULS-1b, one of the first officially confirmed objects with the status of a planet found outside of our Milky Way galaxy. The exoplanet was discovered in the Whirlpool galaxy, M51, located at a distance of 28 million light years. This exoplanet is in a binary system orbiting around two large objects, orbiting around a common center of gravity along with a massive companion star. The transit, which astronomers observed, lasted a total of about three hours, during which the recorded X-ray emissions from the star dropped to zero. This helped the researchers calculate that the object could be approximately the size of Saturn and orbits a neutron star or black hole at a distance that exceeds twice the distance from Saturn to our Sun. Oh well, we didn't talk about all of the interesting and fascinating worlds by far, but rather only about seven of them. Yes, we are looking towards the future with optimism and hope that the next generation of telescopes will be able to answer all the questions raised regarding new exoplanets.